longer life, you have to take care of more than just your physical health, but your mental health, too. Here to talk about how we can extend life with generosity, community education specialist Carrie Offenstein. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so physical health, we all know that I think most people think, I got that covered, I have a New Year's resolution. Right. Mental health, though, not so easy. Yeah, that's a really good point. And, you know, generosity and mental health being linked, that's something that sometimes we kind of leave behind with this holiday season. Sure. But really, giving back and generosity can help us all throughout the new year. Sure. So how is that a good thing for us mentally? You know, it's funny. We don't really talk about how generosity and giving back helps ourselves. We talk about it a lot as a way to help the community or help others, but it actually helps our mental, physical, social health, all of those. It really? can release, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, people talk about that warm, fuzzy feeling when they give back and things like that. That warm, fuzzy feeling is real. It, you know, giving back and generosity, it releases chemicals in your brain that actually genuinely make you feel good. Sure. So just like yeah. donating when mm -hmm. you get a tax write off, that's your benefit. <laughs> Let's for hope it. so, right? Your benefit, your benefit, your benefit for giving to others is it helps your own mind. Yeah, yeah. it actually can help you too. It's like a, a win win situation, it's a two way street. Absolutely. Very you know, cool. it helps your physical health. It lowers blood pressure. It can help you live longer. Like you said, that's kind of the astounding thing. Sure. So this month, that's not that big of a problem, I think, for a lot of people because they're <laughs> let's because hope they're not. Let's, let's hope that people are people are being generous and giving and everything. But what about when this all comes to an end in a week? After the holiday season is over, how can people keep the ball rolling on that? Yeah, that's a really good question. You know, we do think of giving as kind of a material money thing, but there are so many different ways to give. You can give with your time, your energy, you know, even your skill set. So a lot of times people think, I just, I go to my job, I come home, I'm done. Mm -hmm. But everybody has skill sets that can help. You know, let's say you help out, you know, you know how to do maintenance and things like that, and you help out with a, a community shelter and their maintenance. They might not be able to afford those kinds of things regularly sure but you can you know generously donate your time and your energy and your skills you can help people with their taxes for free or something like that sure um, and if you you might also have items of your own that you could give away yes that, yeah. exactly you know instead of throwing something in the trash you know you never know who might benefit from it um, clothing furniture you know baby items things like that all those kinds of things can be donated if not to goodwill or something to like the crisis nursery or or all sorts of different places Places and local shelters that need help. Sure. Yeah. But this is this is scientific evidence that being a Grinch or a Scrooge is actually bad for your mental health. It is. It, it will make your heart three sizes too small. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's weird. Uh, giving and generosity actually lowers your blood pressure. So it is actually literally good for your heart. Wow. Um, yeah. So I don't know about the size, but... But you know. blood pressure. Is <laughs> yeah, sure. blood pressure is important. Very good. Absolutely. Okay. And how can people get in touch with you if they may need further support with this? So we can be found. We're Two Roads Wellness Clinic. Um, you can find us on our website at Two roadswellnessclinic.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram. Um, we have offices in Danville and Champaign. We're, we're very, we're out there and open. Very good. All right, Carrie, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back with more of the morning show right after this break.